Hello, this is a demo video of my patch for Music Computing 2, our final patch using Java Externals. Um, so for my project, I chose to use JavaScript to implement an L system, like we looked at in class. Um, and I kind of map the pattern that we get out of the L system to chords. So then we end up with, as we can see here, um, our L system sequence, and then we basically convert that into ASCII values so it's easier to kind of process and map to, map to the um, sequencer. And then um, just basically run through this list and I have them map to specific chords. Um, I hard coded like a base um, set of chords in C major and C minor, um, as you can see in the chord key here. So I have it so that you can you select the number of iterations you want the L system to run for, and then you also select your starting chord. Um, it's a little bit confusing with the letters because the letters don't map to like B is not B minor. Um, so basically, you just have to check out the chord key here. So for example, if I wanted to um, start with a transmission, if I wanted to just look at it how I have it written out here in C, I would press zero here. Um, and then figure out, let's say I want to start on uh, a D minor, a two chord in C major. So then I'm going to unlock this, and right here it says put a B, so just a B right there. Um, and I want this to run for t 11 iterations. So then next I bang here, and as we see, um, an L system is generated right here. Um, and now I'm going to just quickly go through the Java external. Um, so, yeah, I have some just some list manipulation here, so it was easier for the user to input stuff for into the Java function. Um, but if we go ahead and open up my external, um, it's pretty simple. Basically what I did was kind of just hard code the rules that I wanted the chords to um, map to for, like, for the L system, and I just kind of used a letter to represent each um, each chord, and then so for example, um, in the make rules function, it's just straight up map mapping the mapping each letter to its its chord that's going to be replaced by each iteration. Um, I also included some kind of stochastic um, stochastic L system components. By basically, I have this little function down here, um, rando, <laughs> which basically you just put in x and then it generates a random value between 1 and x. So that was easy, so that made it easier for me to kind of generate random values between, basically it was just 1 or 2 usually, but I do have one that's like 1 to 3. Um, so yeah, I decided to implement some of these so it's not always the exact same um, for each, each, the exact same replacement for each letter. So, for example, if uh, if we're if our step is on an A, then there's like a 50/50 chance of it go of it being replaced by E G or D. And again, these aren't actual like notes; these are chord representations, which you should check the chord key. <laughs> Sorry, it was it was kind of confusing to figure out um, the best way to represent the chords in JavaScript because it. It was kind of weird to do it with numbers because strings versus ints and stuff like that. So I just decided to do kind of a a mapping. Um, so yeah, this is the rules function, just maps all of those. Um, yeah, and I thought it was kind of cool with the randomization element so that um, you get you get a variety. So um, so you don't always have the exact same result if you have if you, when you have the same axiom and the same number of iterations which I thought was interesting um, yeah and then so the basically this function just goes through the string and um, applies the make rules function and just kind of is generating this new string and then make string actually returns our final string using the user's uh, start input and the given number of iterations so after we have um, our sequence generated and it's mapped to ASCII numbers, um, then basically I designed this little counter sub patch. Uh, oh, it's running right now. Um, which basically runs through this list over here, 
um, from a metronome object originally, and I just chose to kind of randomize that metronome object between uh, 300 and 1800, and um, so then it's playing at basically a random speed as it walks through our L, our L system sequence. So right here, you're going to see, um, as we're running through, you're going to see the value that it's stepping on. And basically, I have it um, so that if it equals, if it equals, uh, like, 60, then it's going to be, well, I guess, actually, it starts at 65 because of the ASCII values. Um, but so if, it, if our ASCII value is 65, then we want our C major one chord. Um, example, for example, if it's 68, we want our four chord. Um, and then over here, I also hard-coded some minor chords. Um, the major and minor chords are, are contained, are self-contained, so if you're, if you choose, um, if you choose between A and G, you're only going to play through chords in this major realm, and if you choose between H and P, it's going to be within the minor keys. Um, so I also, I, I basically with this transposition function, um, I hard-coded the chords in C major, and so if we have zero transposition, it's going to be in C major with just, basically these are just MIDI values. Um, but then I wanted you to be able to transpose into different keys. So based on um, kind of what you want to do here, you can change this. So let's say I want to go up two half steps. I want this to be in D major. So then I'm going to bang here, and you'll see all of these are changed. Um, so that now we're in D major, basically. And it's pretty simple how they're just how they're played. Um, basically, I just use a simple if function. If it's this, then we want to bang this chord and output that to make note. Um, so back to presentation mode. Um, I'll just generate a new one just to show. Let's say I want to start on a minor three chord. So I'm going to do C here, um, and then I want. I want 13 iterations, so I'm going to bang, and as we can see, because of my randomization and the stochastic element, um, we're not always getting the same result, even though we're, we, were, we have the same axiom and the same number of iterations. Um, so, okay, I want this one. So, again, we're going to run through these. These are mapped to specific chords. And let's say I actually want to transpose it down a half step. So then I'm going to bang this to implement the, trans the transpositions. And then for the final step, um, I'm just going to bang right here to play through the chords. And there we go. So just to summarize, um, I know it is a bit confusing with kind of how I chose to represent the chords and map them, um, but in the end I felt this was kind of the easiest way. Um, I mapped them to ASCII values because it was very tedious to split this chunk of this string into, you know, n number of separate messages, and it was easier if I could convert it to ASCII, which automatically puts it in a list format. Um, so to summarize, in this first step, we're using the calling my Java external, which makes the rules for the L system. Um, we're generating generating our L system sequence here based on uh, the user's input. Um, next, I included the option of having transposition, and then we just basically run through and select the different chords as we go through this list. Thanks for watching.